Hey folks, yep, it's me. It's me, I'm gonna go live on a Saturday. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I got some time and I thought I would go live and say hey to the Wealth and Real Estate Facebook group on a Saturday. Such a beautiful day, a little cloudy, but uh, green grass everywhere and I really like the green grass. I uh, titled this video so I, I, I think when some people see the title of the video, they're going to click on it. So we're going to give them a little time to uh, to let them click on it. Uh, let's see here. Happy Saturday. Um, had a great week this week. And uh, let me just jump into it because some people might watch this after the fact. And they don't want to wait. Um, if you've ever been an entrepreneur, like you know that you go through these these highs and lows. Somebody clicked on this thinking I was bipolar. I'm not really bipolar, and I recognize there's some real people who struggle with that disease. So, the the title is a little clickbait. But uh, if you've ever been an entrepreneur or owned your own business, you know that you go through these periods of like being up here and then being way down here. I mean, up here might feel like I'm the king of the world. I can do anything. I can accomplish anything. And then down here, you might feel like, oh my God, what did I decide to do? Why would I ever have decided to, to leave my nine to five? And that sometimes can happen like all within the same day, right? You can start off uh, really low and then end up really high. You can start off really high and end up really low. You can go like back and forth all throughout the day. And I, I've seen a couple of posts about this real estate, like not real estate, but just like bipolar entrepreneurship. Um, I saw a couple of posts about this this week. And uh, I was thinking to myself, like, how do I deal with that? And <laughs> could I help somebody just talking about it a little bit on a Saturday afternoon? So I'm, I'm telling you, this is a work in progress. This is something that I deal with all the time. Uh, not really bipolar. Again, if you're coming in late in the video, um, not not really dealing with that, but uh, definitely dealing with this entrepreneurship where you have these highs and lows. And uh, I, I just sent a text out to one of my buddies, Kevin Marin, and uh, asked him for some feedback. So I, I'll wait and see what he says. But I think that's one of the things that I do right to deal with this. Uh, one of the things that I do to deal with those highs and lows is that I surround myself with people that are much smarter than I am, right? It's why I'm paying to be in certain rooms. It's why I'm paying to be in certain member mentorships. Um, it's why I'm attending these masterminds, right? Because if you're around other highly successful entrepreneurs, um, you hear about their experiences and you can tell them about your experiences and you can actually like share strategies. If you're talking to people who aren't entrepreneurs or who are not successful entrepreneurs about some of your issues or your challenges or your problems or even the highs, right? They won't really know how to appreciate them. They won't really know how to coach you. It's kind of like me and my wife, right? We've been married for 16 years. I know it's crazy. I got married when I was 19. We've been married for 16 years. And if you talk to us about marriage, like we laugh at some of the stuff that we used to fight about, right? We 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 laugh at some couples that 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 fight about some of the little stuff because we know how little it is after being together for so long. It's kind of like that with with mentorship and entrepreneurs. If you're talking to entrepreneurs that have a ton of experience, they've gone further than you're going, they're gonna help you relate your situation at the time, right? If you tell them that you're having uh if you tell them that you're having an issue, they're going to be able to say, oh, you're really having an issue or, hey, you shouldn't think this is such a big issue. Or what I like a lot of times I get is, hey, this is how I dealt with that issue. And if you're willing to take what they have to say and implement it in your business, into your company, you could really like make tremendous moves in your company. Um, I'll use Kevin, for example. If you haven't, if you don't know Kevin Marin, hopefully he'll he'll say something below if you watch this video, and you'll ha you'll be able to tag him in your in your stuff. Hey Floyd, hey hey Keith Hadley, um, but yeah, if you, if you don't know him, last year 
I was I was thinking about how to how to keep growing without like adding all these employees and adding payroll and continuing to add 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 payroll. And I met Kevin at this conference and Kevin talks to me about how he has VAs in his company and how he has his VAs do this and that. He helped me put a spreadsheet together of all the tasks that I do in my company and which ones I can route through VAs to save money. Right now, Kevin uh, runs a, a, a multiple seven figure, multiple seven figure businesses. Right. And his challenge to me is like, stop thinking about how to make a few extra hundred thousand dollars and start thinking about how to make a few extra million dollars in a year. And I think that's one of the ways that I deal with uh, this 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 bipolar entrepreneurship experience is by surrounding myself with other entrepreneurs that are going through the same things, have been through the same things and can kind of guide you through the highs and lows. OK, um, so many people I see like are trying to get to the next level of entrepreneurship by watching videos and they don't know if the person is actually like where they want to be or has gone further than where they want to be or they're trying to become entrepreneurs with the same friend group that they had before and that's comfortable right that's the comfortable way of doing it the uncomfortable way of doing it is getting in the room around people that like make you uncomfortable because of how successful they are right and that is uncomfortable, but that is what can help level you up because the conversations that they have, the way they think, um, it really can move you forward. So that's one of the ways that I deal with this. Uh, hey, Joe Carter. Good to see you too, man. Um, let's see another way I deal with this. This this. Uh, oh, I know another way. Hey, you got to have like a, a, a really long term goal somewhere, right? You got to have a long term goal. Um, it can't just be about the money today. It can't just be about the, the the deal today. It can't just be about like putting food on the table. Like you've got to have something that you want to do that's so big and so far off that the day to day fluctuations don't disturb you as much. Right. So let's say um, in my case, like one day I would really like to either contribute to or fully fund a school that educates people from low incomes and allows them to uh, allows them to to go to college and there's no way they would have went to college if 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 it wasn't for this funding right or I tell my son all the time one day I really want to be part owner in some kind of professional sports team and that's real that's those are two big goals for me right um, those are really two big goals that I have. Well, when a contractor upsets me, right, or I lose an employee or a deal falls through, those ebbs and flows, those day-to-day -day, uh, things that happen in a real estate company, those things that going to happen every single day, right? Somebody's payroll is messed up or budget gets tight, whatever those issues are, you're still thinking about those long-term goals, not those day-to-day -day issues, Right. When you have a tenant do something that you just really didn't expect, you're able to deal with the ups and downs and the ebbs and flows because you have a long term goal that's a far way off. OK, I think I'll stop there today. Thinking long term, surrounding yourself with people that are highly successful. Those are two ways to deal with the 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 uh, ebbs and flows, the bipolar nature of this this uh, thing we call entrepreneurship. OK. Hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, if you got any questions, post them below. Comments, agree with anything, uh, post them below real quick before I turn this off. Um, if you don't know, I buy houses and apartments, uh, looking for houses and apartments, kind of on a little acquisition freeze until, until the end of July. But if you got something coming up or you know somebody, send it my way because I'm really connected to people and know, know what's going on. Happy Saturday, Floyd. Hey, Lewis, love it my family in the house. Um, anyways, I'm gonna jump off of here. Don't see any comments down there. So don't just look at it. Grab the map. Y'all have a great Saturday.